Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tone, with the news, updates, trends, and analysis. How's everybody's weekend? Well, the weekend already passed, but how was everybody's weekend? How was everybody's Monday? It's morning. Hope you guys are up, getting it, ready to get it. A new week, a lot of big things. You already know, it's a new opportunity to get to your goals. Let's get it. A lot of bad things been happening as well. A lot of destruction in the world. Yesterday, I was actually having a conversation with one of my friends about politics. And I want you guys to understand that I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not a Biden supporter. Like I'm a facts supporter. Okay. So if Trump is telling more truth, guess what? I'm going to go for Trump instead of some other candidates. Okay. And I'm being honest with you guys. But once Trump slips up, I'm the first one to say it. And I'm not saying he's perfect. I'm not saying he never messed up. Trump is a normal human individual. Yes, he was the president of the United States. But look what Biden is doing. You guys think it's better? I don't really think so at all. Like, I was even telling him, he's like, oh, rich people are still buying Lamborghinis and all that. Yeah, of course. But they're buying it for more. <laughs> they're buying it for more. And at the end of the day, everything is being for more right now. So at this point, it's like everybody's being affected. Not only the poor, the middle class. I consider myself beginning middle, middle class. Because I have a little bit. I don't have much, but in this process of me and you, us, I think we could get there together. I think we could become who we need to become by focusing on the prize. And I'm not going to say I'm perfect. I'm actually far from perfect. I have so many flaws. If you guys will be in my life, you guys will understand how many flaws and sometimes I even consider myself a loser. But you know what? That mindset is not what we're supposed to live by. We're supposed to live by us becoming the best that we are. Some of us got opportunities when we were born. Some of us are more beautiful than others. Some of us are taller. Some of us have better uh body parts than others but that doesn't change anything from you knowing that you got to become your best of yourself your better self the best version and the best version is never going to come because you're always going to work to become better than yesterday and that's how we're supposed to live we breathe better we feel better we get less sick we do more things we're energized we we just handle things more. And today, actually, guys, I'm actually starting a month of detoxing with fruits, eating straight fruits, and once in a while, drink almond milk to put in the fruits because sometimes I have to do it in uh, in the streets. But I have I actually bought a juicer on Amazon, and I'm about to start. <sighs> And I'm going to do it uh, because I want to feel the energy and I want to be able to give you guys more. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not I'm not a tall man. I'm 5'7". And my habit of eating is like a 6'1 guy. You know what I'm saying? So I have to start managing myself. So I'm a detox for a month right? Eat straight fruits, lose weight, obviously, get slim, get quicker, adjust more, and then I'm going to start eating meat again. And once I eat the meat, I'm only going to eat straight meat, barely rice. Once in a while, I'm going to cheat and I'll eat some rice. I'll eat, you know, I'm trying to stay away from dairy completely. Like, it's going to be hard when I come back, but 
I'm trying to stay off of that. <laughs> I'm trying to stay off of that and not, uh, you know, be on top of that stuff, man. Dairy is bad for you, and it's very, very good. I mean, for me, it's the worst because I break out. And the reason I didn't go on last week is literally because I was broken out. And I guess, you know, it's a lot of cons instead of pros. You guys know my habit, pros, cons, everything that you do. Find the pro and the con, even on a woman or on a date, guy, girl, whatever uh, gender you are. Uh, always look at the pros and cons of everything, literally, even the products that you use, you know, and try to find the best product and tool and people for your empire, for your build, for whatever you're creating. You know, and just find the best because at the end of the day, everything that we have are tools and, and people could use you. I mean, people, you can use people as well. I mean, I'm not saying badly, but, you know, a lot of people have different people, connects. Uh, you don't know, maybe a person that you know has a connect that could give you a few hundred thousand dollars invest in your company or a few hundred, even a few hundred. Like me, I'm the type of guy, give me give me whatever you want. $50, you want to give me $50, give me $50. You want to give me $100, give me $100. I'm happy with whatever. Why? Because at the end of the day, money is money. Okay? Money is money. And honestly, it does, kind of don't even exist. And that's the sad part because there's so much of it. And we just need to get more and more and more and more oh man look this is actually uh not falling apart but bro this was this gold chain right here was a mistake honestly it was a mistake <sighs> but it is what it is guys uh I need to brush my hair. How I, I just took a shower, guys. I just, you know, prepare myself for the week. Uh, but let's talk about Morocco. Man, so many devastating things are happening in the world. Uh, like the Morocco earthquake, like the Maui fires, uh, and all the things that are going on that are devastating. Uh, natural disasters and man-made disasters as well um but the morocco one is the most recent that is very devastating with a toll over 2500 people and uh i was talking to my friend yesterday and it's crazy guys like i understand we don't have the power really to do much about these situations and we can do a lot but it doesn't mean you can't be informed. You have to be informed of what's happening in the world. This is your planet. This is where you're from. Earth is your God. That is your God and that is your, your world. That's where you're from. And what's happening to Morocco is something that devastates me. What happened to Maui devastates me. And what the politicians are doing with Maui devastates me. And I don't know if I have talked about that in other clips, but I guess when I was broken down, I should have been talking about that situation. But what's happening in Maui is insane, guys. Like, it's insane. If I see any type of movement, I'll do a whole video about it. And I'll let you guys know, and you guys can make up your mind and think whatever you guys want to think. Uh, but... Uh, the Morocco thing is so devastating, guys. Uh, let's get to an article that I found by CNN. Um, and yeah, let's see what they're saying. Uh, it's very devastating things. And uh, let's watch. <sighs> All right. Ew, what the hell was that, bro? You know what, bro, CNN? I don't want to watch that. Let's get another one, guys, because they messed up. See, that's 18 hours ago. I don't want 
18 hours ago, let's do rulers. Rulers always comes through, right? All right. Morocco earthquake rescuers race to find survivors. Imdo, Morocco, September 11th today. Rescuers are Monday search villages reduced to rubble for any survivors of Morocco's deadliest earthquake in more than six decades. In a desperate race against time, as the death toll rose, to almost 2,500, and the scale of destruction became clear. Search terms from Spain, Britain, and Qatar were joining efforts to find people buried under debris after a 6.8 magnitude quake struck late on Friday night in the high Atlas Mountains in the Epic Center. Many survivors spent a third night outside their homes, destroyed or rendered unsafe. The state news agency reported the death toll was now 2,497 with 476 people injured. Footage from the remote village of Imtala, filmed by Spanish rescuer Antonio no, Nagles of the A group, Bombero, Bomberos, Bomberos Unidos Sin Fronteras, showed men that dogs clambering over steep slopes covered in rubble. What the hell? Is, why, why would you guys say the picture and you don't show me the picture? The level of destruction is absolute said Nogales, struggling to find the right word to describe what he was seeing. Not a single house has stayed upright. We're going to start to search with dogs and see whether we can find anyone alive. In M. Dao, a village about 75 kilometers south of Marrakech, women and children huddled early on Monday morning under makeshift tents set up along the road and next to damaged buildings. Further south, a car stood crushed by boulders that had fallen from the cliff. Wow. Wow, guys. That's insane. I'm, guys, I'm about to put my gold on. My gold. About to put my gold on. <sighs> but guys, oh my God, yo, like, wow. Let me see if I can find some footage, actually, wow. I put my gold on. Well, actually, just watch this video. It's two minutes. It's insane, guys, like. And yeah, my friend literally yesterday, I was arguing with my friend. Now I know he's just, I don't know, he's just lame, guys. Like, uh, I'm done. I think I'm done being his friend, bro. Like, really, I'm, like, he's my guy, but nothing else, really, man. Like, nothing else. Hold up, guys.
this, guys. It's crazy because they're not even talking much about it here in the U.S. Well, I don't really watch the news, but I've asked a few people and they don't even know what's going on. And I actually wanted to go to Morocco this year, but it's crazy. So sad, man. So sad. Sad to watch. Ah, man. Wow, guys, like, guys, I'm sorry I have this green uh, screen, but I have a mess right now. Uh, I'm about to get a bed here. Not a bed. I'm getting one of those couches things that flip. It's not a futon, but it becomes a bed also. I guess you guys are going to see it, but it's pretty dope. I was like, man, that's the one I need. That's the one I need. Because at the end of the day, it's perfect for me to sit down. I'm about to get the PS4 controller too, so I can go on Twitch and you guys could come join me. But guys, I'm about to have a bet that I could play on and I could smash. <laughs> you feel me? Do my thing. And and I could also the green screen. I'm going to get a green screen. Not a green screen, a projector. I already have it. The only thing is that uh, it's been a little complicated with my schedule, my sleeping. But you know, guys, it's all procrastination. Everything. Like, I can make all the excuses, and it all comes down to do you really want it, Tone? Do you guys really want it? Or do you guys really want it? It's all about that. We focus on that, everything happens. And I pray for Morocco. I did see something uh, uh, to donate to Morocco, but let me see. Uh, 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 how to support Morocco victims? Let me see. I'm gonna read this one, and uh, yeah, you guys, uh, let me know if you guys like it or not. And support, support. Uh, I will actually be doing uh, things for Beautiful World soon for situations like this. Uh, well, this is that's crazy. You saw how many cookies? Look how many ads, y'all. Like, that's annoying. All right, so. How to support Morocco's earthquake victims. Here are some organizations that are collecting donations to help the people of Morocco. Uh, the world is watching human tragedy unfold in Morocco after the magnetic 6.8 earthquake that struck the country on Friday killed at least 2,497 2, people and injured 2,476. As heroic rescue missions continue around the clock, sometimes with people digging through rubble with their bare hands in town and villages that are virtually demolished. There are organizations collecting donations to accelerate life-saving efforts. Bank al Maghrib, Mohammed V1 of Morocco called for the creation of a bank account supported by the country's treasury's bank and Bank al Margrib, the Moroccan central bank to receive relief contributions from citizens and the global community, including private and public in situations who wish to help. All right, this is one, guys. Let's see. I don't know what that says, but this is one of them. I guess this is actually like their routing number, bank account number. Looks like it. Interesting. 
I mean, I guess you guys could copy and paste this, save it, right? I'm not going to do it, but save it, copy and paste, and see what it says. And you'll, you'll put it on chat GPT and say translate it. And I'm pretty sure it looks like a routing number type thing, bank account. Oh, look, code Swift. Yeah. So, yeah, it's wiring. This is how you wire. Uh, these are the wiring information for the bank. Uh, this is directly to them. I don't really trust banks, but, you know, this is something that I'm pretty sure they are going to help. Uh, they should help with their money regardless, but what's happening there is very destructive, guys. Like, let's see another way. Let's see if they have other way. Uh, banks, no other ways. Well, through another bank. But, all right, so this is the pretty much the main way to help uh, and donate. Uh, save it, screenshot it, send it to your friend. Uh, you know, send whatever you guys can, if you guys can, uh, if you guys can't, that's fine. Uh, energy, send out energy, prayers to everybody in Morocco. Uh, eventually I will do my own, uh, I will do my own, uh, how do I say, like, place that you guys could donate for situations like this. Um, hopefully it doesn't ever happen again. But realistically, we live a life and in a world that things like this uh, can happen anytime. Uh, this is why yesterday I was like kind of frustrated with my friend. Uh, he's still my friend, but I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> like it's just that you got to separate yourself from people that they just don't have logic, common sense, you know, and actually don't care about what's happening. And, and, and it's not that I was telling him I care. He just, like, I was informing him, and he's like, oh, why do you care? Like, why do I care? Like, bro, I'm just informing you. Like, if you want to take it how you want to take it, you can take it however you want. But I'm informing you. You like the facts? I can give you some facts. You could do your own research and get the facts and confirm that I got facts because in the end of the day, I like to confirm facts before ever mentioning it to like anybody, you know, and that's how I move, you know. So in the end of the day, when I say something, it's pretty much a fact that I already confirmed. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you guys like these videos, even though I didn't like this one too much, and it's not because of the way I look or anything like that, but it's because it's from a Morocco situation. And that's a sad thing, guys. Very sad. Uh, send this to your friends, to your family, to your cousin, your sisters, your grandma. Send it to everybody that has YouTube. Let them know about Morocco, how to help Morocco, and how to stay in touch with things that are happening in this world that the news probably don't even mention. Like, I'm going to tell you guys the real stuff. Give you guys the real things going on. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.